You know what time it is! We're gonna find out how comfortable the trunk is. So, this is one Tyler so far. This is the most scientific test we have ever come up with. You know, I could comfortably have another, well, not comfortably, but another one of me could fit. I mean, two Tyler's in one trunk was not comfortable about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera, but the air suspension is working magic. And from a person who has an air suspension car, don't be afraid of it. Be excited about it, because it is absolutely amazing. And we're gonna talk about it while we're driving, because this one's good. Speaking of driving, let's take her for a rip. Take her a chip. Awkward high five. Welcome back to another vehicle from Autobahn Sales and Service. Man, Magic Mike continues to up his game. If you look at his website, he has everything that a car enthusiast would want. Brought from all corners of the world directly to you in northern Minnesota. How amazing is this car? Today we bring to you a 2011 Audi A8L. Which stands for long. Or lustful. Yeah, let's go with that. Where this car shines is pretty much every aspect of it, but a lot from the back seat. This is a car that you're supposed to be driving me, opening up my door, opening my champagne. So let's, champagne? <laughs> let's take her in the back seat and show them where this car really starts. And where we should have started this video. Tyler, I told you not to bother me at the office. But I'm, we're making a video. I'm trying to work here. Can't you see I'm in my office? I mean, it's pretty Wait, close. Maybe you just can't see because the sun is so bright. Let me get yours too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. In all honesty, sitting in the back of this Audi A8L is amazing. I mean, I could probably be 14 feet long. <laughs> I think that's an official measurement. 14 feet long. <laughs> the the L adds a perfect amount of space. Yeah. This, this is a road trip car. Yes. The back seat comf passengers are just as comfortable as the front seat passengers. I can operate your visor from over here. Now that might get really annoying, let's say if you have children and they like to click buttons. And this a8 being a 2011 isn't quite like a brand new no. A8 in the back, but you still got the heated seats. Yep. And you have your cup holders, your own little hidden cubby for your caviar. And if you don't want that extra armrest, you got this, which is another seat. And not to mention, this also does have a pass through. So for you your can, skis, or because your, or your business stuff. Your things. golf clubs? Your business clubs. Yes, yeah. your business yep. clubs. The backseat of this is amazing. I would not change anything about it. And I think if you are a type of a person who goes on a road trip and has kids, this is the car. Yeah. There's nothing better. Let's take them on the tour of the front and show them how awesome it is even to be the driver in this car. Welcome from the driver's seat of the 2011 A8 Long and here's my beyond stunning, shining star of a passenger. And I can't even hear you. I'm so far away from you. And he's my co-star <laughs> of our channel. Take him to this screen, because I think Audi does this really well. When you want your infotainment screen, it just elegantly pops out of the wood-grained dash. It. I don't know why they over-engineered this because there was no need for that in-depth of a screen, but oh boy, is it great. And if you just look, I love the analog watch there. And here is kind of your control center. So if you're at Mission Control, you can do a whole bunch of things. Uh, hit the info button. That's not the right one, sorry. Menu button. Here you got all of your options. If you go to your car, you know how we like to drive, right? We're in an individual right now, but you go to dynamic and we're going to show you what it's like to drive in dynamic mode. Our individual mode is also dynamic mode. 100% dynamic. Because we are dynamic people. 
But you have all of your infotainment here. It is actually quite intuitive. You got some storage. You got typical German cup holders. They are the size of a small McDonald's cup. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you have leather everywhere. You have 216 way adjustable seats. Is that factual? Yeah, I googled it. <laughs> I actually created a Wikipedia page and put that in there. Uh, you do have paddle shifters. Which is pretty interesting with this being a luxury car, not a performance car. They chose to put paddle shifters in. Here's one thing that you don't like. There isn't really a lot that I don't like about this car, especially when you get on the road with the air suspension. But you didn't really love the way that this shifts. So with the foot on the brake, to go, you go into reverse. And then you go into neutral and then drive. There's no way to go from. You can go straight to drive as well, but, but you not, can't get, it's just, it's, it feels clunky. It feels a little clunky. But it works once you're used to it, it's perfect. What do you say we get this thing on the road, and like always, I'm gonna use one of my 218 adjustable ways <laughs> for the seat, and I'm gonna become a normal human that walks on planet Earth. Why do you always have to bring up that I have abnormally long legs? Because I don't have them, so it's just <laughs> one thing that I can bring up. We found some out when we were goofing around. It is easier if you are deliberate about your shifting. Yep. I like this thing. Me too, it's pretty awesome. I like the growl. I like the grumble. I like that we got it in dynamic mode. I like that the seatbelt hugs you. Yeah, it does. It's, I, th there's, I don't want a fanboy over a gigantic sedan. A luxury sedan. Like, come on. Like, we like fast cars. We, yeah. Speaking of fast cars, <laughs> the zero to 60 in this thing is right around five seconds. Yeah, I think it's a claim 5.2, but manufacturers always sandbag so that everybody can achieve that speed. And you know, how are we getting this five seconds? Out of 376 horsepower, 4.2 liter V8. There was, well, there was a, there was It was a um, speed. It might be a speed that you can achieve with a number attached to so it. So this has all wheel drive. Yep. It has air suspension. You can, I'm not joking, I'm not playing this enough for the camera. You can't feel the road. No. We went over a massive dip on the way to get to our spot where we talked I didn't to run you over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I didn't see it in time while I was driving. I didn't realize it was that big. You didn't even notice it. We just no. floated over it. It is crazy. What you're giving up is not a sports car feel. So you're getting the luxury feel. The steering is tight, and we have it in dynamic mode. Yep. But it's not sports car feeling. No, it's a it's very luxury sedan. It's a numb, heavy feeling. It's weird. There isn't anything about this that I don't love. I never thought that I would like a gigantic sedan. Me either. I thought, why do you need a giant sedan? It's just going to be cumbersome and awkward to drive. I was driving it. Felt great. What about you? Yeah. The... I, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless about the driving feel, about the comfort level. This is a cross-country bullet. Yeah. Uh, you, you need a permit to drive this thing. Well, yeah, you do need a driver's permit. <laughs> See, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I, I wish that the sunroof was a panoramic. But I'm sure that is on modern. Yeah. But that's the thing. You and I are pretty shrewd negotiators. Yep. So do we look for the 2022 Audi A8 L and spend a hundred and whatever it is because thousand dollars too much is what it is. Or do you go back ten years and pay about twenty thousand dollars for one? And I'm gonna be honest, the interior electronics, since it was the top tier Audi. 
Those are really good electronics for a 2011. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you get Bluetooth. Yep, you get Bluetooth. You have navigation. And this navigation is better than the 2008 version that I'm used to in the Porsche. Um, and you got tricks. You got tricks! Yeah, yeah, I can't get over the tricks. I mean, that is cool. And like even modern displays of the drive or in the center or the the center console. Yep, uh, they're not very high quality. This outclasses some modern displays. I agree. I think the whole interior outclasses many modern displays. Yeah, it is quiet in here. So it's got this nice big 4.2 liter V8, right? You can barely hear it. With with that big V8 though, you do sacrifice some gas miles. We've been goofing around, but you get about 14 and a half, 15 miles a gallon. Nothing great, but it's not like it's the end of the world. It's just, meh. I'm sure, because when we started driving this, it had about 10 for the average, and we've gotten up to 14.4. Tyler. Smiles per mile! <laughs> I gotta come back down to earth here for a minute. <laughs> oh, that, that around five seconds, zero to 60, the pull that it does, it just keeps going and going and going. I don't know if the viewers can even see, but there is so much space in this car you have a perfect combination of about everything. Space, luxury, comfort, speed, styling. It looks good. How right. do you make a- Smiles per mile. How do you make a 50 foot long car look good? I mean, it just does. Again, statistics go to our uh, Wikipedia page. <laughs> All of them are labeled in there. A hundred percent factual. <laughs> this car is amazing. It has all of the tri tips and tricks and doodads and oh look at this button hey look the rear shades going up. i was just gonna tell you it was a little bit too bright in here oh so i figured i hit it so you can operate the rear shade from up here from the back seats you can operate the rear shade your side shade the other side shade i wonder if you can operate the side shades from up here why don't you give the side shade a uh, tug i don't because i don't know how to do that It'd be the bottom left one. Just pull it. It goes up. Are you kidding me? You can operate all the shades from inside the car. I mean, this isn't that much of a crazy thing, but you taught me something I didn't know. Yeah. Awkward high five. <laughs> so it's, it's the rear windows. If you just touch them instead of pull on them, that's how you get the shades. And now the back's... You could take a nap in the back with how dark it is, and it's not like you can't see through the shades. It actually eases the eyes for the driver as yep. well. Because there's no backlighting, it's all just comfortable. This is a car that I would be extremely interested in because we go on long road trips. I would love this. It's the perfect amount of luxury. Luxury. Yes. That's the short version of luxury because you don't want to use that last letter sometimes. It gets a little bit too long. Yep. Like my explanation for the word luxury. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the perfect amount of luxury for a 2011 Audi A8. Like, you would think that it would be lacking somewhere. I can't find a place. No, it, the build quality is typical German. Yep. It's you shut the door it's like a it's a law well, it's like a it's a it's it's you can tell that it was the bank vault door shut <laughs> that's what i was going for it is the bank vault door and this car is eighty thousand miles and it still feels that way are there luxury sedans especially 10 years newer that look a little better yeah yeah is the brand new Porsche Panamera a little more stylistic? Yeah. yeah. Is the brand new A8 more stylistic? Yeah. Yeah. But for a 10 year old luxury car at a massive discount that you get with this one, there's nothing that beats it. No. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to get 
a different exhaust to even have it a little bit deeper. You could do that, but I think that the stock exhaust... It's fine. It's fine. Because this car, you're not supposed to hear it. You're supposed to ride in silence. Well, let's show them what it looks like flying by somebody and oh. then wrap this bad boy off. Okay. Here's something that I noticed, Ty. What'd you notice? When you put it in reverse, look yep. at the back shade. What? No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, now we're going in forward. Shade, please. It'll go back up in a minute. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's awesome. This car is the coolest car. I say that about a lot of cars. But, but I genuinely mean it about this car. Well, this is the best luxury car we've ever been in. I would say this is better than the Panamera that we reviewed that was brand new, just because that Panamera had all the goodies and whatnot, but it wasn't as luxurious as right. this. Yeah, this has, this, you know you're in something very special. Yes. It is amazing. Oh goodness, Tyler. This yeah. is the greatest luxury sedan you could buy on the planet. Agreed. Forget the Rolls Royce. The, <laughs> forget, forget the Bentley. The steering, when you're in dynamic mode, is as tight as any sports car. Yep. And the suspension with the um, air suspension is amazing. Oh, what was that, Ty? You said power? Power! The panel shifters are fun. That's good. Oh, this thing, she boogies. You don't get great gas mileage with what we're doing. No. But going on a long road trip, you're gonna get into the mid 20s. And on ramps is where you have some fun. Smiles per mile, baby. Yeah. Smiles per mile. Thank you all so much for coming up with us on this adventure that we call Turn 5. I don't know if you can see it, but we have officially surpassed 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing. It means so much to us. It is honestly a dream come true. Yeah. We appreciate it way more than we can ever express. Make sure you like. And Make sure you subscribe. Keep doing it. Let's, let's make it to like an extra zero. We're climbing to the top, baby. Yeah. But for now, go buy yourself a slightly used, well-maintained Audi A8L. You will never look back, never be disappointed. Well, you will look back. Yeah. At your comfortable passengers in the back seat. Until next time, thank you so much. And go check out Magic Mike's website. Link in the description below.